a large segment of population has reached this place without chemical help, they cannot even sit in one place quietly. If to be peaceful you need a chemical, to be joyful you need a chemical, to be healthful you need a chemical, seventy percent of American population is on some kind of prescription medication. You are a country which is considered to be the most affluent nation on the planet. What this means is, there is a choice of nourishment, there is a choice of lifestyles. In spite of that, healthcare budget is over three trillion dollars for a quarter million people. This means we know nothing about this one. We are just blundering through life and trying to fix it from outside. This will not bring joy, this will not bring well-being. Comfort and convenience can be achieved by fixing the outside. Joy and well-being cannot happen from outside, it has to happen from inside. Meditation is not an act that you perform, it is a certain quality. It is like the fragrance of a flower. If you become meditative, you have this quality with you every moment of your life. If this has to happen, if you cultivate your body, if you cultivate your mind, if you cultivate your emotion and energies to a certain level of maturity, meditativeness will blossom within you. This book, Inner Engineering, The Yogi's Guide to Joy, has a series of small steps to take. They're very simple steps, but I'm telling you, a simple inward step that you take, actually take, life changes tr tremendously. The fundamental step is, instead of looking for well-being outside, you turn inward. So, a dimension beyond the body, a dimension beyond the mind, if you touch this dimension, being blissful and joyful is a natural consequence.